Hi and welcome to another episode of Peacemake TV. In today's video we're going to look at the new update to Visual Composer. This is the new version 5 of Visual Composer and is a major revision. So let's take a look at some of the new features that have been added to this new update. So with any major revision, the most important thing is what's been added, what's been made better about probably the number one selling visual layout tool for WordPress. So let's have a little look and take a look at the most important key features. So you can see I'm on version 5.0, which has been released a couple of days ago. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in and we're going to create a new page and we'll start taking a look at what we can do inside that. But before we do, we've got one other thing we can do with the new version. And if we just jump into Visual Composer and we go to General Settings, we can now activate the software directly inside your installation of WordPress. Now this means that you can quickly go in Manage your product license, enable, disable, so you can swap it around. So when you work on development server, you can very easily activate it, get the full power of Visual Composer. And then when you want to move over, you can simply deactivate it and then reactivate it on a new website. Now, if we go to product license, you'll see that we've now got the option to activate Visual Composer. So what this is going to do is it's going to connect us up to Envato, where we purchase Visual Composer from. Make sure you're logged into your account, and then what it'll do is just check that you have active licenses for Visual Composer, and then it'll ask you to choose which serial number. So let's go through that process now and take a look at how easy it is to work with. So we just click on Activate Visual Composer. That's going to go over, ask us to confirm that we're happy with all these different things that WP Bakery, the developers of Visual Composer and Envato are asking for with our account. So we'll just say we'll approve that. Once that's done, it'll take a couple of seconds, it'll go over, it'll find out any active Visual Composer licenses, and then it'll give us the option to select those from a list available. Once we found the one that we want, we just simply click on Activate, and that will just go and check that, make sure it's okay, and you can see now we've got the option to deactivate Visual Composer. So now, with a full version, fully licensed and active, we can now access some of the extra new features that have been added to Visual Composer. It's much the same as if you use Slider Revolution 5. They've got a very similar system where you can open up the, the different themes and different layouts you can download and different add-ons and things like that that are part of a commercial license, which you don't get if you purchase it as part of a theme. So that's something to bear in mind. If you want all these extra features, you are going to need to make sure you've got a full license and not just part of a theme where you've got Visual Composer. So bear that in mind. So that's the first new addition. So let's move on now to the next where we can take a look at how we can go in and take a look at these different layouts and we can access those with our full license. Okay, so I've created a new page ready to take a look at these new template options. So all we need to do is just switch on the back end editor. You can see we now got the normal layout that we're used to. We've got the same options for templates. And if we click on that, you can see we've now got a tab that has template library. So if we click on there, you now see we've got a range of predefined layouts which we can do two things to. We can come down and we can take a look at what they look like by using the little magnifying glass, or we can download those and start working with them. So let's just go and take a look at some of these, take a look at what they look like. So we're going to click on there, we can see we've got a hero section with intro, and you can see we can now take a look at exactly what that's going to look like. If we like it, we can download the template, or we can just press back and we can go and audition a different one. So. Let's come down and say, let's say a fashion collection teaser and preview that one. And there we go. You can see that's what it looks like. And once we hit download the template, it's then going to contact the servers, download all the relevant pieces of data. And once that's finished, all we need to do is come back up to the top left hand corner, click on the back arrow. And you can see now we've got the option to access the library again, or we've got the fashion collection teaser. So we can click on that and we can insert it into a page. And you can see the layout is now all set up for us, including the images. So if we take a look, we can preview that. So let's just take a look. So we'll just simply click on the preview in the top right hand corner. And you can see now we've got our new layout all set up for us with our images and text and so on in there. We can just jump back in and we want to make any changes to any of this. You can see we've got custom headings and that's all the setup in there. We can easily come in, we can change those custom headings to anything we want. 
or we can come in and we can change the background image that's being used on there or any of the other design options like the padding and so on the image that's used we've got control over all of that so it's a great starting point for being able to create layouts where you don't necessarily have a huge amount of time to look through and design everything from scratch so there's one new addition so let's move on to the next one now, following on from the predefined templates, we've always been able to create templates of our entire page layout with Visual Composer. But one of the things that I've always found a little bit annoying and something that's kind of lacked behind on compared to other things like Elementor and some of the other visual sort of layout uh, plugins is the ability to be able to save certain parts of your layout as a template. So, for example, I've got this two column layout that I might want to use again and again and again, and I just want to go through and change just the elements that are sitting inside it. Well, I can now do that and it's quite easy to do. All we need to do is come up to the edit the row. We can click on that and now what we can do is we can come to the little cog icon in the top right hand corner and you can see we've now got an additional option which is save as template. Now we've had save as preset and save as default before but they didn't do what we wanted to do. We didn't want to save it as a preset or as a default te uh, the setup. So now the ability to save as a template, we can do that. So we can click and we can give it a name. So we can call this whatever you want to lay it out as. So I'm going to put ELM so I know it's an element as opposed to a full page layout. And we put 5050 column. Name it whatever you kind of want. Hit save changes. That's save. We can now close that down. If we want to, we can easily come down now and we can go up to the template section. And we can say we want to do the L5050 column. So you can see we can now click on that and we've now got an identical duplicate of just parts of the page. This is a great way of quickly being able to build up a bank of predefined layout sections that you want to mix and match without the need to save this entire page. You can now save just those building block elements. So I think that's a great addition and something that I know for myself I've been asking for for quite some time. Another new addition to Visual Composer 5 is another bank of icons that we can start to use. So let's just come down and just add a new icon element. And you can see we've always had Font Awesome and a few other libraries, but we now have the Material icon library. So we can click on there. That will then open up and give us the ability to choose from a whole range of icons that are all inside the Material library. So again, you can see we've got all the same kind of options. If we want, we can easily click to insert our icon, change the color, the background shape, the size, alignment, and so on. All the different things that we've had in there for quite some time. So that's another great bank of icons we can use to expand the visual appeal of the website or the web page that we're working on. We also have the ability to easily apply CSS animation to any element or any widget in Visual Composer. So you'll see that every dialog box will have a CSS animation drop-down menu. And you can click and you can see we have a whole range of different animation options available in there that now, like I say, can be applied to any element that builds up your page. So that's it. That's where we are with Visual Composer 5. There are some really good new enhancements in there, some really nice little tweaks just to make the whole process of working with this software just a little bit more quick and intuitive and easy to work with. And there we go. That wraps up this look at version 5 of Visual Composer. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's given you insight into the new features that have been added to this software. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content we add every single week. And until next time, take care.